Well, our general for today is Apostle John Mulinde. Apostle John Mulinde is the founder and global overseer of World Trumpet Mission founded in 1988 and is the chairman of the ministry's international board of directors. He is married to the beautiful Sheila and they are blessed with children. It was after the birth of the World Trumpet Mission that travailing prayer during oppressive government dictatorship birthed a movement that brought about significant transformation in this nation and other countries around the world. Apostle Mulinde is also the vision bearer of AfriCamp and Prayer Mountain in Seguku, where many Christians all over Uganda go to to have an encounter with God. This God's general has been called by the Lord to blow the trumpet in nations, calling the church to repentance and preparing the body of Christ for the day of the Lord's return. Apostle Mulinde, who is a renowned international evangelist, has traveled across the world and has written life-changing books like Prayer Altars, The Wake Up Call, among others. He is one of the respected and honored preachers in the world who has stood the test of time. Apostle John, Omutume John, we were made by the prayer mountain. Who has ever been to prayer mountain, Seguku? The reason we stand dear Apostle I've been believing God for like four people to come here once Bishop T.D. Jex to come here Obama. Barack Obama Kavaka, the King of Buganda, Museveni, President Museveni, Nemuchala Wange to be, and my wife to be, but to be in this place. I've been believing God daily so that you come here and see what the Lord can turn a man into if that person gives his heart to God. I came when I left the street I wanted cars to run over me. Apostle Patrick Semambo. I was so downcast. And Patrick Semambo saw a young man on the street. I say, young man, why do you want to kill yourself? I hugged him and I cried so bitterly. And he said, Go to the church called World Trumpet Center. Look for Michael Chimuli or Rose. I wrote down the names. And he stopped the tax and gave it 200 shillings. Hold this young man until he reaches the church. I came to World Trumpet Center. You were so busy. I wrote down the names. 
na nzurusa nziju kina manyi bakondakta baba bize na yiko ndakta yakwata bigambo bya Patrick naga na nkwata ku mukono na nzurusa nanga ba yiyo church yiyo church na duka na agenda akole he made me cross the road and directed me to the church na ntu kawo i reached the place ne bankwasa pastor chimuli kwasa chimuli na nkwasa muchala we i was handed over to pastor mami ono mwana bada anonye apostle john na ye mutwaleka ne bantu aleka ye nasanga mike oyunga mutonga mutamivu that's where i met pastor michael mzao ye michael chimuli junior mutabani wa pastor michael chimuli kati yalinga pastor wa fewa now is our pastor here musanyuke apostle amanye michael wa amanye rejoice do you love michael michael mumwagala yo yo tumusabira wase that's our pastor michael mzee Siriera biro ruo budde I'll never forget na pasa chimuli yakoma we wakane mbi munyonyola byo na bazayi bafa biche byo ne bankomyawo I explained my story to them and they returned me nzo bulambu ange katonda akozeseza abantu my whole life god has been using people era na wali wano katonda kuwe ya abantu may god give you some people Ebyadala katonda abakuwe may god give people to help you nze nze jukira bulunji nyo i remember crystal clearly banyi miliza kutut i stood on the platform nkujukira mze you are you today wali you are seated right there sir ne bagamba tuina akana kava ku lugudo as have a young man from the street kamulekwa is an orphan nebambuzo yagalo kulokoka and they asked me do you want to give your life to jesus yeah. i say no njagala genda kusomero me i want to go back to school tata wange yangamba nsomenyo ndabi kubanga bonna bali bafude ewafe abasinga saidi ya tata ya mama je bali kale no naimira kuchituti nebabuze chivuzo ani ayinzo yamba akana kano who can help this young man Nobody was forthcoming. Ngero mwana wa street nalingenda kuduka kwa mulyango ngujukira. Wali awawo. Like a street boy I wanted to take off. Then nenda ba omwana muita Steven Mbogo. I saw Mr. Steven Mbogo. Na gamba nti nze nja kaza yo kasome. I said I'll take him back to school. Then Apostle Mulinde noja Apostle you came no gamba abantu and told the people kat school fees kazifunye he has got school fees na ye kana asulanga kuchi what will he sleep on mulete tuweyo let's give let's give tumugulire mifaliso omfaliso ne ne case ne bitag ne bitam let's buy a mattress and scholastic materials abantu ne bawayo and people gave Nibantu ala mukatale ba pastor no ani ona bere nyombizinga Oh eh Pastor kakaire Nibantu ala ne pasa semanda ne bangulire ebintu They took me and bought stuff for me Nibambuza okakaza tuyagala kulokoka Are you sure I don't want to get saved Konze wemba mu binzi ya ko nja kulokoka If you're taking these things from me I'll get saved but if not Na yesi ya ko era bila But I'll never forget ngaba wandika program yo they had written it down your program abaji wandika mutume ya kendo kubera where the apostle will be ngamutima ngamba na yedu lichalu mune mbera ngo musajjo oyo and i said in my heart will it done and i be like that man sija kwera bila omugenzi mama prosi i won't forget mama prosi nsonyi wo kubiza na ye mama prosi nambu Nkukolere chimu nsimu no and mama prosa said what can i do for you in this earth nemuga njaka njaka la kuyiga nanga i said i want to learn to play the keyboard nage na musto wanaja ya kananga katono nengenda na koku somero nali sikwa koku somero he went and gave me an old keyboard nenzi guka bano bona mzai ba pastor bona mzai tulabira ne ba mulekwa tulabira ne ba namwandu wakisa yolo mtu ya kutusayo tuliba manyi nyo side zen we are so great that side we look after orphans and widows Buli ali kutaka lino katonda akufunire jona abero wa ma. May God give you an address where you will be strong. Kuchituti cha Trumpet Center. On the platform of World Trumpet Center. Nalisi na nyo wakawalala okujja ko prayer mountain. I didn't have any other home save Seguku prayer mountain. Ngensi bwegana yoje tugenda. When the world is stuck we go there. Sasa byonga tumenataanika kusasuza naika tibatu jja ko bebitana. We were not paying. 
Batu jago make over. Lukumi. Beruba lukuruma. Gwege na nawe chifo chikole. Nga chibera obobezi. Nga chesa wa. Chete kakama sanyalazi. Nene we mzei. Okuja kwa wanonsonyi wa ntuto vude. You're coming here sir. Banobo na. Abanja gala. Tebandi indabye. Singate mwanzi kiza. All the people who love me wouldn't have seen me if you had not accepted me to stand on your platform. Every day I'm desirous so that you come here and you see what God is doing and you see what the Lord is doing. I want to thank you dearly I will never forget. I'll never forget. So, all these people gathered here, they are your grandchildren. They are all your grandchildren. We are all your grandchildren. Myself, I've seen God use me. I've seen HIV leave people. I've seen a street boy graduate. I've seen cancer disappear. I've seen thousands and thousands and tens of thousands of people. If you had not picked me up, I wouldn't be here today. All these are your grandchildren, sir. Salute the general, please. Or your pastor Wilfred, That's Apostle Wilfred. Or your Ben, your Yuzo Gamba, your senior pastor, my younger. Pastor Ben. The senior, just the age of Jabugez. Or is Shama. That's Pastor Shama. Shama, your chairman, your Wolukungana. Chairman G3. Nenda Kwebaze. I want to thank you also. Kubanga, your Nabi Tukola. All the things that we do, to cope we are coping from you. Zay, sir, I want to thank you again. I want to thank you for showing us Jesus, not changing the doctrine, to keep one wife. Every pastor is strong, but I love Apostle John Molinde. I'm so grateful. There is no country I've reached. And I spoke about you, and they denied us supper. When you don't have a lot of favor, you mention Apostle's so name. Apostle John you know Apostle John Molinde. That's where we come from. You have got many children, spiritual children. You've given back Yet to you are still very humble. I'm very intentional to show you to this generation this generation knows false prophets they have not met true people they are always on their TVs watching watching Baba Guza Mazi, Mzee Kanisa no yatani kila muyembe na ye kuze e watari wada Mazi wade bidomola. This church grows without water or sand. Aji kiriza kumire katon. Clap for Jesus if you believe it. Mzee. Kati impavie. My mind just went blank, but in a word. Thank you so much for picking. I, I, I remember Africa Camp. 
You are preaching and I saw the glory of God over you. You stayed so humble. You are the first person to invite the president in born again gatherings. I learn from you. I admire you. I want to finish well. Like you. Pastor, this audience. Apostle audience they've heard about you. They've went to prayer mountains. They don't know who is behind it. So I wanted to show this generation the true servants of God. There is a person here. She had HIV and it is ill. Without drinking any holy water. This generation doesn't know men of God. They know people who are manipulative. They are going somewhere even after here. The people you see, sir. They have grown up in the city where they are pastors who say that only them are the true men of God. They use their radio, they use their TV stations to slay heads of men of God. It is when they have reason, they have not showed them others. It's the theme of G3. Release them. So for one minute, since 19, 1988, we need to honor God for one minute, the man of God. And now, Kakati. to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Let's welcome the man of God. Even at home, clap for Let's Jesus. Apostle John. Let's welcome Apostle. Hey! Negative. Thank you, Lord. Mukamat Kwebaza. Amen. Amen. Uh, I'm humbled by the introduction. And I have no words. But I will say one thing. Standing here and looking at Pastor Wilson Bugembe. And being reminded of that day he's been talking about. And I remember when he sang his first song. Was that your first song? Pampita <laughs> Yero. When you see all of this, you know, never minimize the day of small beginnings. And I want to say, look at your neighbor. And tell your neighbor, within you, there is a seed of greatness. There is a seed of greatness. Let us clap to God for that. Praise the name of the Lord. What a blessing to stand here and witness what God is doing. I just want to return all the glory to God. All the glory to God. I bring you greetings from World Trumpet Mission and the Prayer Mountain. Amen. This is my second time to come here. 
My first time I came in a pastor's meeting which took place here. But then Pastor Wilson was not around. He was on mission in Rwanda. But today I'm blessed to see the fruit of what God has been doing in your life. I was in Hong Kong. Hong Kong. And I was teaching about destiny. That you are not made by your circumstances. What is great in you is already inside of you. And all you need is to be able to release it and use it for the glory of God. And I used the testimony of Pastor Wilson. And uh, I talked about him and what he was and where the Lord took him from. And actually, they want to see you. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. I know it's already getting late. And uh, I am known as a long time speaker. By the way, Fauza, how are you? <laughs> um, I have on my heart to share with you. And normally when I dig things from deep of my heart, they come deep. So they require attention. They require focus. When I saw the theme of this conference, by the way, no man is made by himself. The men who have already talked to you in this conference have added a brick on my life in one way or another. <laughs> Professor Simeon Kaiwa is one of my best teachers in the world. Dr. Joseph Serwada Dr. Joseph was Sirwada. my pastor together with Apostle Deo Balabi Kubo. Yari Musumba and Gaumuna Deo Balabi Kubo. Our Vivandera Okuvalu Nalokoka. Those are the men who nurtured me ever since I got saved. Apostle Bunjo Yaringa Mukuru Wangi. Apostle Bunjo was like my elder brother. Yene Pastor Stephen Seviala Balibat. Him and Pastor Stephen Seviala were like twins. And I was ministering under Pastor Stephen Seviala. And Pastor Bunjo was at Najana Kumbi, you took it as home. When I was beginning missions, those are the people who used to commission me to go and prepare for their coming. I mean, Pastor Kayuwa. Pastor Kayanja. Pastor Kayanja. That's why I was filled up with the, with the Holy Spirit. Apostle Mitala. He, he was like the teacher of my pastor, Seviala. And my pastor used to take me there to come to the Bible. Would get all the write ups and things to use in the gospel. Pastor Mitala used to uh, to organize a youth camp at Timwili annually. I never attended by my pastor used to attend. Apostle Jackson Senyonga. Apostle Jackson Senyonga. We were together Chibuye. And we preached together the gospel. And by the, by the way, and by the time God began to speak to me about my ministry, we are at Gayaza, me, Pastor Senyonga, Pastor Seviala. What I want to say is no one builds up himself. Different people bring different bricks on our lives. 
So that we become what you are supposed to be. Amen. Amen. But when I combine all of them, there is one man whom I always thank God for. I didn't know him in details. But I confess salvation on a Sunday. And on a Friday, we went for a night prayer in a certain place. As they were still worshipping, a voice spoke to me and told me that when you rise up from here, I'm going to show you where you're supposed to be. I didn't inquire from anyone. I woke up. And I got, main, I got on the main road. I asked where to go. I had left my Bible say. And the voice told me that, do you hear those voices singing? I said, yes. And I said, go. That's where I want you to sit. The man will preach the gospel after you're sitting. He'll be your mentor. He'll be the man to nurture you. The place was at Chibuya. By then it was called Victory Christian Center. I found two girls leading in a song, Hallelujah, Zana Kabaka. One of the girls was called Suzette. Another one is called Mrs. Eva Senyonga today. After singing that song, there stood a giant. He was called Apostle Deo Balabiokubo. That's the man who trained me to pray. He taught me to fast. And he also taught me the spiritual warfare. And he taught me the life of missions. I return the glory and honor to God. On this theme, I don't know what to add because I've already heard what others have shared. And I said, now what more to add to that? What came to my heart was to share with you the lesson God gave me when I was just saved for one year. And that was the beginning of my learning spiritual stuff. I've not discovered it after traveling missions that I apply those lessons. And I see God touching nations. And I see God changing situations. Today, extent that even the media houses of these nations have attacked to there write what God is doing. Many different tenets of lessons. But I want to share one lesson which was among the very first ones the Lord taught me. I will ask you to go to your Bible to the book of Luke chapter 11 and we shall read from verse 24. It says when an unclean spirit goes out of a man he goes through dry places seeking rest. And finding none, he says, I will return to my house from which I came. And when he comes, he finds it swept and put in order. Then he goes and takes with him seven other spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter and dwell there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. Daimoni wa vakumuntu aita mbefe vitali mu mazinga anonya wokumu set captives free. Aba sibe basumulwe. Amen. Amen. Now I had 
grown up under the apostle Deo Balabye Kubo. I had been under Pastor Robert Kayanja. I, I had seen them casting out demons. I had been in, meet, in gatherings where we cast out demons. I said, fine, Lord. I'm going to cast out these demons. And the Lord told me, you can cast out the demons inside people. But you don't have the anointing to cast out demons in the system or in the principalities. Because your inner fountain is very low. Am I speaking principles to somebody? What do I have No, no. You can deliver someone. Get out, get out. And it happens. But when you pray for your neighborhood, when you pray for your neighborhood nothing happens. Why? Why? Because you, are, you don't have the stronger than that. You are dealing with powers. I command the principalities over Kampala. Go! How much have you built? <laughs> hallelujah. Amen. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not every level of warfare that you can do it. Build yourself up. Soka wezimbe. Build yourself up. Wezimbe. And the Lord told me, because your fountains are so low, you need to create time to go build your fountains. During that time, I don't want you to preach or teach or do any work. Spend time in my word. Read my word. Pray Worship, Sinza, fellowship, kungana, learn to listen and be sensitive to the Holy Spirit. And my spirit will teach you how to be sensitive to the demonic. The time will come when your discernment is so high. You stand in a situation and you can tell the different kind of spiritual powers around you. The time will come when you are traveling to a place the demons there will know you are coming. By the way, one day we were going to the islands. One day we were going to the islands. To the island of uh, Bugaya. And we were in the boat from Rubia to Bugaya. We didn't know anything. By the time we landed in Bugaya, there was chaos. People were saying, we were in we don't want you here. Go back to where you came from. Said, what's the problem? When you were still in the waters, the demons went berserk. They were saying, they are coming. They are coming. Don't let them come. Don't let them come. Hallelujah. Amen. And we, we went in. The man who had said he's going to host us. The villagers said, you host them, we burn your house. Then they, they, they did something that was so foolish. There is a house which was built in a lay line. In Luganda, they call it a kubo liyamusambwa. So nobody could sleep there. And they said, come, we show you the house where you'll stay. They took us to that house. For us, we did not know. We entered. We slept. Amen. Amen. <laughs> And because our team was so big, some people could not fit inside. So we said, let the ladies sleep inside. The men, we shall sleep outside around the house. And that's how we slept. <laughs> 
The next day, the sisters went early in the morning to fetch water. And as they were coming to the well, there were two women. They were bending over. But they were talking. And they were talking loud. But these people who came to, the, to this village, they must die. We cannot accept this. How can they come with another power? <laughs> but when our sisters were reaching the water like this, the two ladies vanished. They disappeared. That is what we are dealing with. But I want you to know, do, have you ever read in the Bible where, where Jesus Bible? was just walking around in the yes. city and the demons began to scream. What do you want with us, you holy one of God? Have you come to cast us out before the day? You can build your fountains. Hallelujah. Amen. Until the whole of your inside is built up. That the streams of living water begin to flow. And they go into your family, your workplace, your society. When you walk in, people realize another authority has come in. Even some conversations stop. Some activities stop. And people change. Because another kingdom has taken over. Amen. Amen. But this, this can be built further. By the way. You should build this over your household. People who come to your house with demonic presence, the demons know this power. They can say to him, We shall wait here at the gate. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. When they are coming in your home, the demons sit at the gate. And the man comes in. When he's leaving, they gulp on. Why? He has no power to resist them. But if while he's inside your home, he meets Jesus Christ. He will come out a new creature. Brother, sister, we are called to live on a higher plane. Listen, listen. Why does the Bible say you are more than conquerors in him who strengthens you? Why does the Bible say I can do all things through Christ Jesus my Lord? Why does the Bible say greater is he who is within us than he who is in the world? Why does the Bible Say, it is God who called us. It is God who will work. Why does the Bible say He who started a good work in us will bring it to accomplishment? Hallelujah! Power in the kingdom is not a story. It's not an imagination. You can build it. Number one. Read your Bible. Now, I wish I had the time. I have to finish. Don't snack on the Bible. Fist on the Bible. Bible. Every time you eat, eat enough. The little. At least read 10 chapters every day. Let me tell you. Give, 
give it 30 minutes. Without putting on your phone, no one is distracting you and sit. Read your Bible. In 30 minutes, you read 10 chapters. If you know that you can make it, just in chapters every day are going to transform you. They can change your mentality. They will change your mindset. And every time you read the Bible, don't rush. First sit for like 10 minutes and ask yourself, God, how is God revealed to me through scripture? How have I seen God to me? How has he manifested to me? And me meditate through God you are mighty God you are holy you are gracious you can forgive you take long to get angry all the things we learn from pastors and we copy them they don't work for us because they have never touched our hearts God you are mighty king of lord of lords king of kings prince of peace but you've never felt it in your heart but, but when you read it through scriptures and say, oh, God really takes long to get angry God can pardon his people and he can forgive quickly that becomes living food into your life it becomes a living food in you even when you get in a situation I say but God you also Ahab killing his neighbor and even declared judgment upon his life he went and humbled himself put on some clothes and Lord you had no some of him and he said you will not judge him what else will come May forgive me my father because it take long to get to know and you are speaking about a God you touched a God you've seen a God you know after doing that meditation begin to praise the word praise means proclaim truth about God that truth you've discovered in the scriptures the God you've discovered the God who has amazed you begin to tell it to him that you are mighty God who is like you do things you have been revealed to let them become your praise let your praise become from the living one the word you are fed on on that day that's why people go before God to worship him and they are out of words Hallelujah, Hallelujah, God. God. You are worthy. God, God, tell you God. Worship God. Confess His greatness. The Bible says that come in His house with joy. Come with praise. Tell Him, God, you're so special. You are the Lord who does this. You are the Lord who does this. Who can be compared to you? God? That's why, Lord, I committed my life to you. That's why I decided. If I have a choice, I choose you. Because you are more than anyone. What I'm speaking are not stories. The power of victory comes from that. The Bible says. God dwells in the praises of his people. When you begin to attract God in that kind God of praise, comes near you. But who has come? The stronger than you. Hallelujah. Amen. The stronger than him. 
And the moment he comes, you feel his presence. You feel your heart is melting. It's as if fire has been put in your heart. You begin to feel some water. You feel you are being consumed. The words are no longer enough. And tears will begin to roll down. down. You begin to say, God, I commit myself to you. God, I commit the whole of me to you. Lord, I surrender everything to you. Even in this situation, I surrender it to you. I will not allow this situation to overcome me. You are fulfilling what Jesus said. But let your kingdom come. And your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Clap for God. Let me end with this. Because it is very important. We cannot leave this out. Every time you get this level of melting in his presence, you feel that your words will have a deeper meaning than usual. And you tell him, God, teach me how to pray. Teach me how to pray. God is going to lay his hand upon you. And you'll begin slowly to touch one issue. And you'll feel it flowing like water. And you'll speak words which you don't even know it's their source. You will intercede in a way you don't understand. And you'll begin to groan what the Bible calls groaning which cannot be uttered. When God trusts you with a spirit of intercession, spirit of supplication, your tongue is given articulence. You speak words which you've not even meditated upon okay, but you just nimi, flow. You go in tongues. Some tongues can even Zinozo change. Wanunguga, robo shaka, tarama, yandere, These tongues you speak, these no more tongues. Zika, they will change. No and we begin to speak tongues you no don't even know. Ziva, you will begin to speak no tongues that are coming from your heart. Omo, yomu, tukufu, ya, it is the Holy Spirit at the wheels now. In that kind of situation, you get a situation and prefer it. Whether it takes an hour, until you'll prefer it until when you put it down. And you can speak like Jesus who say that it is done. 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 I don't, I will no longer prefer it. It is finished. Authority. And that will give you authority. The more you do it, I was giving you seven reasons. I would have given you seven, but because of time, I've given you four. <laughs> Let us end with these four. First, go practice and rehearse these ones. Amen. Amen. After practicing them, they are going to bring the life to the fall. As I wind up, I want to give you an example. Remember where I began from. When a greater than him comes, he will cast him out. And I told you that the most important thing is not casting out. Because the one who is casted out will come back. And the reason why he comes back is one. He finds a neat house organized but without no one dwelling there. In other words, the, the, the master key the stronger than he is only a single man. That's the most important thing. If you want to work on your life, your home, your, business, yo. your business or family. Do the four things I've given you. And when it comes to prayer, bring all of them before God and tell him, Father, 
Let your kingdom come in my family. Let your kingdom come in my business. Let your will be done in my business. You'll discover that the mighty one, the stronger one will come and dwell in your business. Amen. Amen. He will come and dwell in your home. He will sit in your life. He will sit in your situation. That even if the devil wants to come in, even if you, before you even tell him to, yes, bind him. You just told him that I'll make you a strong man. They'll fight against you, but they'll not manage you. They'll return to you, but they'll not return to them. That's why you can say, Greater is he who is in me than he who is out there. Tell your neighbor, let us be released. Let, let us be set free. We have to escape. Amen. Amen. It's high time we escape. Because we know where the stronger one dwells. And we know how to attract him. All the glory and honor back to God. Back to God. Stand up and clap to God. I want you to turn around and get one person to join hands. One person you can join your hands with. Tell him or her that I'm going to sow my prayer in you so that you can be an overcomer in the name of Jesus. Now in Sigam, also sow in me so that we can overcome together. Now listen, this is a, a secret. Psalm 100 says, Enter his courts with thanksgiving. Bring a shout of joy to the Lord. Let them come to Know that the Lord is God. He is our maker. We are the sheep of his green pastures. We did not make ourselves. His mercies are new every morning. Do you hear that? Before you pray. Let us first do that. Is there anything we can give thanks to God for? Are there things we can appreciate God for today? Let us get in his house with thanksgiving. Let us enter his courts with joy. Because he's our God. We didn't make ourselves. We didn't create ourselves. But you created us. You love us. And you know us. We worship you our God. Let us first praise him. And power all the praise to him. And from that praise you shall begin to pray. Do we know what we, you do we now know what to do? Holding hands of your neighbor. Lift up your hands and let us speak to God. Yes, bring up joy, that voice of joy. Tell me, Father, I thank you for the words you've taught me today. Thank you for what you've taught me today, oh God. I don't hear you. Let us not be ashamed. 
kabaka tukuwe chiti wa gwata gwa omukama te wali akwenka na kana sebo te wali alinga gwe mukama bakama tukugulumiza no kusinza yesu tukuwe chiti wa netendo gwata juluka mukama katonda otuzimbira mu mbera otuzimbira mu bintu itam otuzimbira mu bigezo otuzimbira mu ebi ebi jabitu tomera otuzimbira mu ebi ebi koma oje tuli no tuigirizo okuluana mukama oigiriza makuru ya foku imirira amba sitani olwale rontoloka Tell God tonight you're getting out of the Tonight I'm overcoming. Tell the devil I am overcoming today. I am overcoming in the name of Jesus. Oh God, oh God, arise, 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 arise. Let your presence move upon our bodies. Let your spirit move upon us. Let your spirit come and empower us. Streams of living waters, Lord. We render captive. We call fire. We sell coals of fire. We consume powers. We release our families. We release our businesses. We release our area. Oh Lord. Why Mukama? Take away diseases. Of Egypt. Take away diseases. Take away. New broken hearts. New blood. You Join broken bones. Yes, Jesus. Visit our homes. Open barren wombs. We render captive powers. Let out. Bring your blessing. Release a girl. Release a young man. Jesus. Jesus. Here from Sleeping He touched me and he made me whole. He is touching me now. I know we are out of time. Lift up your hands now. Jesus is touching you now. I know Jesus is touching you now. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, lift your hands, everybody. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, you are wonderful. You are worthy, oh Lord. Everyone, lift your hands in a Cause your rain. To fall on me, open the floor in a Cause your rain to fall on me. Lift your hands now. We are in your presence. Let it rain. 
Cause your rain Let it fall on me To open the floodgate hey. In abundance And cause your rain To fall 